Oh, you ain't gon' never have to struggle Yeah, mama, you the goat Yeah, yeah Tell my mama you the goat What's good, YouTube family? Today is September the 30th. It's uh, Thursday. I just came back from a seven-day quarantine. Um, happy to be back, back out here working. So today we are harvesting Chinese chestnuts. It actually is salt, salt on the inside, and the outside looks like a porcupine, and it is sticky. This one is still ripening up, it's still intact and green. After it opens up, it opens up like this, and it falls down to the ground. These trees have been planted out here for 10 years now, and I'm getting ready to show you some of the ones that we planted earlier this year. I don't remember the month, but we had to come out and replant because um, they either got ran over or whatever happened to them. So here it is. So this is a Chinese chestnut tree. We planted this one earlier this year. Um, I can't remember the month. But this is how it looks in the beginning. And this is a full grown Chinese chestnut tree right here. Fully grown. 10 years that these right here have been out here planted. 10 years. So I don't think that I properly um, closed out the chestnut video the other day so i came back to the organic before i had to um the risk the risk management meeting um for farmers today i wanted to show y'all how it looks on the inside because you can actually cook these um you can eat them raw but i tasted it and i didn't uh i love nuts but i didn't like the taste of these honestly that's my honest opinion um but you know Everybody's different, so I'm gonna see if I can crack it up and show y'all how it looks on the inside. Yeah, I'll see how it looks on the inside. You can see that it to me it almost looked like fur. Like fur. Look at it. This is too neat. It's like I'm so interested. Look at that. Alright, let me finish peeling it. Alright, so I peeled as much as I could off to show y'all how the Chinese chestnut looks on the inside. So, you can eat it as is, or you can roast it. You can cook it. Um, most vegans and vegetarians that don't eat meat, they eat these nuts as their um, meat substitution. So, you can cook these. So, we did find a market for the Chinese chestnuts, and we're going to sell them directly to Lane Packing. If you're from down south, if you're from Georgia, you probably heard of Lane's. They're known for their peaches. Nobody has personally called about them, to, but they have called about the persimmon. So, I have a video posted about those next, and I have a video coming where I'm going to update y'all on the hemp research plot that we have here. Thank you for everyone who has liked, comment, and subscribed. I really appreciate it, and y'all stay tuned for more to come. Thank you. She the girl, she the girl. Yeah. Greatest
that's a long time, yeah, yeah.